Are we paying out more in Medicare than we're taking in at the moment? Well, as you know, Senator, the, the dedicated taxes for Medicare are cover the Part A of the Med are designed to cover Part A, the hospital spending. Mm -hmm. Not even and the hospital insurance trust fund is in fact losing money uh, every year. The other parts of Medicare are have no dedicated financing. They are funded by beneficiary premiums and by general revenue transfers. How are we doing on the difference between what's paid in for Social Security and what's going out monthly or annually? So the dedicated taxes collected for Social Security are less than the benefits that are being paid out for Social Security. Is there anything in sight where that's going to change? No, Senator. That will continue okay. Thank under you. current law. Can you walk us through your analysis leading to the conclusion that the economy will adjust this year and not over a longer period of time due specifically to the tax increases that were enacted earlier this year? Yes, Senator. So there are two factors here. There's a growth of the underlying potential of the economy, uh, and then there's a, some catch-up from that current level of output, which is below that potential, um, which amounts to putting unemployed workers back to work, making better use of the factories and offices that we have. Um, and both those factors are at work in the growth we see over the next half dozen years. Um, we think that uh, the underlying forces driving the economy uh, are finally, after long lingering effects of the financial crisis and the housing bubble, we think those underlying forces are strengthening. We think those are going to help to pull the economy back up toward its potential output, um, to put people back to work, but only gradually over the next uh, four or five years. Um, the tightening of fiscal policy uh, will re is reducing deficits, and a lower debt that will result will be good for the economy later on. It's also true that the higher tax rates that will be in place because of the expiration of the tax cuts on higher income people, um, those higher tax rates will represent some drag on the economy. Um, and we incorporate those factors in our baseline projections and in our analysis of the effects of alternative policies. We look at the effects of both debt on the economy and the effects of tax rates in uh, distorting incentives to work and to save.